Welcome back to the podcast. We're here today, basically. Justin, I got a question for you. Mike, you're not allowed to do anything besides this podcast. I was going to say, you've had jobs before. Has your jobs ever been like, you can't do this, you can't do that outside of work? (laughs) I go to work, I do my job, and then I leave. When you clock out, it's over. I clock in. I do my work. I clock out. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you on the weekend. See you after this vacation. Whatever. There wouldn't be full-time YouTubers, full-time Twitch streamers if it wasn't for that fact right there. The fact that people go to work. You know how many like big tech YouTubers I know that they had to you know go to school. They had to work a second you know like jobs, and they were doing YouTube as a hobby on the side. And now they're multimillionaires with thousands of thousands of thousands of subscribers and views and you know, even millions in some cases, because after they left, it was a different, it's a different thing. As long as you don't like, you know, hurt the product uh, or hurt your work. Like if you go on the podcast or you go on your YouTube channel and say, this company that I worked for sucks, then yeah, that's a different story. But if you're just doing it like as yourself, you know, as Justin O'Brien, like if you're just doing it, then there should be no problem at all. Imagine how many podcasts Jericho podcast doesn't happen. Oh, they lost in the contract. You know, um, mm-hmm. they ruined Zack Ryder's show because they made him put it on WWE. Imagine a major wrestling figure podcast if they didn't just do their podcast on their own. Mm-hmm. Imagine, I don't know, like a whole bunch of things I can't even think of. Oh, Xavier Woods. Imagine he doesn't do his YouTube sh- his YouTube channel. Now he has over 2 million like well, views and followers. He probably makes so much money off endorsements, off video that was games. Always, that was always that them. channel alone. Like that, they always owned that, though. What do you mean? That, like that was like he wanted to start that, so he went to them, and they were like, "Okay." And now, like WWE owns up, up, down, down. Yeah, which is dumb because, like, if he gets fired or leaves, he he loses all that. Exactly. He has to start from scratch. That's not fair. No. Like he he's the reason that's the thing. I'm. The elite versus New Day, the video game battle, that doesn't happen because Exa- oh, yeah. if, for Xavier Woods. And so basically, everybody, the story this week is that Vince came out and told the wrestlers they're superstars. Basically, you can't do any third party things. You can't do the TikToks. You can't do the Twitch. I bet you he doesn't even know what Twitch is. You can't do you this can't stuff. You can't stream. You can't do the, the TikTok. We you own your real name. Meet and greets with fans on the internet. We own your real name. That doesn't make any sense. I don't understand this. I don't. Um, I, I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm so glad that I don't work for that stupid company. You know, many times, like I grew up as a kid, like everyone did, they're a wrestling fan. You want to work for WWE one day. I didn't want to become a wrestler. I wanted to do something backstage. But the more and more that I hear stories like this, uh, no matter how, um, you know, crazy it is, um, if it's like, you know, it, maybe it's not as bad as it sounds. Maybe it is worse than it sounds. I never want to step foot in a working environment for that company. Uh, it just it doesn't make sense. As imagine, long as Vince is in charge. You know all the divas that did all the like the women, I guess, that and the guys. But I feel like more of the women made a lot more money off this during the pandemic when they just opened cameos and charged in two, three, four hundred dollars, which we made fun of people for paying, but mm-hmm. people paid and they made money. And all that money just goes by the wayside because now they're not allowed to do that anymore. And you know what was funny um, during all this is I was scrolling through Instagram um, like after the like right after the story broke, and I saw an ad from from Mike Rome. You know he's like the announcer on WWE yeah. TV. <laughs> I saw an ad from him about like some product he was like you know endorsing, and I was like that's ironic because you can't do that anymore. I hope that they do something about this because everybody the funny thing is yeah they're probably doing it for the lower tier wrestles and pro- wrestlers and probably like the main guys like if cena was there there's no way he's you know gonna be like oh, yeah. yeah whatever you know mm-hmm. and if and if it is he's getting paid like more than enough money to like keep quiet you know mm-hmm. it's like the smaller guys are losing out the most like the thing is with like people talk about this with like social media all the time like, if you're big on a certain platform, let's say you're big on um, Twitch or TikTok, like, you have to um, go out there and use what you have on wh- whatever platform you're biggest in. 
and you got to promote other places. You got to pr promote other like forms of income because if you don't do that, if that platform goes away or if you lose that somehow, then it's over. Like that's why so many of these like big social media stars are going from like when Vine was the thing, the Vine stars would go to Twitter or YouTube, and now that's why you see so many like popular you know, former Vine stars on YouTube because they now have, you know, they were able to disperse and go out in different places. David Dobrik is a prime example. He was huge on Vine. And then when Vine started to go down, he started to like, you know, branch out and do YouTube and stuff. Now he's one of like the most well-known YouTubers of all time. And it's, it's like that, like it's the same thing with WWE. Like the wrestlers, it's fine and dandy. They can be as popular as you want in WWE but they have to branch out. They have to promote themselves just as much as, you know, they do promoting their characters because when that goes away, like, you know, what else do you have? You're just going to like sit in the, you know, in the WWE warehouse and rot away for years and, you know, pump out AJ Styles action figures. And that's the only thing that you have to live for. No, AJ Styles wants to do Twitch. Um, you know, like all these different people, they want to do other things. You Paige, gotta let them. Paige has like a clothing line, a makeup line, yeah. and Twitch. And it's like, if you keep doing that, that shows that there's another side to these people. You know, if Seth Rollins, when Seth Rollins was on the up, up, down, down, playing Madden, that showed another side of Seth Rollins. And that's the side of people that, you know, that's the side of those people that, you know, the fans want to see. They are um, fine and dandy, like old character, you know, on TV. Yeah. Like it's wrestling, fine and like, dandy. Wrestling's different now because of social media. People like to know like the actual person. We get the gimmick character on TV, but people invest in the person. Like mm -hmm. that's why the Young Bucks, that's why AEW is so popular, because everyone's not invested in like people are invested in their product and the matches, but the the people themselves, because they're yeah. such good people, like they want them to succeed. Yeah, I mean, that's why it's like, um, it, it's just yeah. one of those things Dave that... Dave's dead, Undertaker is on Twitter, you know. Yeah, what, the day that Undertaker made the Twitter and Instagram was the day where it was like, you know what, nothing is sacred anymore in the world of wrestling. <laughs> like, um, like, if you want to say, I, oh, wrestlers and kayfabe, we live in a whole different era where people invest in the people. And in some forms, it helps it because if I know that you know AJ Styles really likes to play these video games on Twitch every single night he's on the thing you know like he's showing you know a side of him that you don't get to see on WWE TV because everybody's a character if i see that i now like AJ Styles a little bit more when Seth Rollins talks about the bands that he likes on Twitter i'm like oh i like that band we're state champs you know fans that's cool oh bailey you're also a state champs fan she was on uh, one of the uh, state champs like shows, like the little uh, like they had a like a video podcast called Breakfast with Champs, um, and it was like because of that, I'm like I now like Bailey a lot more because I know that we have something in common, and that's the thing that they need to realize. That's the thing that I hope Triple H is looking at, and the thing is like we are legitimately hoping for the day that Triple H and Stephanie McMahon take over the dang company because like I feel like that's the only out right now because Vince McMahon seems to be so out of his mind and we can't like discredit him for the past because if it wasn't for him then it w we wouldn't Wrestling be where we're at right now so I give him all the credit in the world for that but at some point you have to realize that maybe I'm hurting the company more than you know like, and here's the thing, we don't know in the insides, like, we can say that we know the insides, we can have Dave and Brian talk about it all day, like, you know, oh, like, this guy said, or this guy, you know, doing this, but we don't know how it's going on, so maybe in the long term, this is going to be a good thing, but on the surface, this just sounds ridiculous. I don't know, this sounds, this sounds terrible, it's like, they're, they're they own the slaves now. Yeah, Anyways, and, um, AEW, purposely now, just going to be like, yeah, do whatever you want, as long as, you know. So yesterday during the pay-per-view, when Kip Sabian and Pen Penelope Ford had that little segment, and then they promoted their Twitch, and then it said, pay like, this is approved by AEW Wrestling, um, like, I laughed at it, and I was like, oh, that's funny. And then about, like, half an hour later, I'm, like, thinking about it, and I'm like to Tommy, I'm like, um, 
oh, the Twitch thing. And then we both kind of clicked in our head and like, that was a shot at WWE <laughs> because they promoted their Twitch and then it said approved by Ali Wrestling, you know? And I was like, oh, okay. Like I, I was trying to figure out why it said that, but yeah, it was a shot at them. So that was, uh, that was funny to have that included. But, you know, like CM Punk has been like a component for this for the longest time. The wrestlers need to like unionize. They need to actually be independent contractors because That's they say never going to happen. This was they, someone said like every six months this always comes up and then nothing happens and it's not going to happen. I saw that one dude. Uh, I don't know his name. Um, uh, maybe Andrew Wang. He was going to run for the president uh, like this year or something. Um, I saw him him going off on Twitter saying like, "Oh, I'm like a wrestler. I was a wrestling fan, or I am a wrestling fan." Like. I've seen this from, you know, many years. And so I think, like, I don't know, dude. Nothing's going to change. It's WWE. Nothing's ever going to change. It's um, funny. It said, like, a thing where, like, we own these wrestlers, like The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, and Roman Reigns. Like, well, yeah, you own the characters, but you don't own the people, you know? Like, and, the Bray Wyatt's not going to show up on a live stream with, like, The Fiend mask going, yeah, hey, everyone. Yeah. I don't know, dude. It, does, it doesn't That's make what sense. They use names with these things. They don't use their gimmick names. Yeah, everyone on Twitter, they change their... They change their like their actual names, you know, as like their Twitter names. So I don't know, man. I just hope that this doesn't like. I hope it just doesn't, you know, make it even worse because there's not like they can go in the indies, but right now, you know, there is no indies, so it's all kind of up in the air, and it's everybody a- can't go to AEW. Yeah, it's Impact kind of WWE. That's it. I don't know, dude, but. I don't know what else to say. Um, I feel like that was like a, a pretty good, like, you know, rant there for a second. All I'm and saying is, people defend WWE still. What? I don't know how you do it. What? The people that defend WWE still, I don't know how they do it. Yeah, I don't know either. It's a lot of work. Um, but hey, you know what? <laughs> they believe in something, so <laughs> I give them props for that. Um, but if you don't let your employees do other things outside of work, then they're going to get disgruntled and they're going to end up wanting to quit. They're going to, you know, not know what to do. We're live stream two video games. What? Doesn't Orton do live stream two of video games? Uh, I don't know. I feel like he did once. Cause then he like, no, remember he got canceled because he was saying some terrible things on stream. Yeah. He said, he said a word and it was like, all right, get him out of here. And that was it. So. I mean, in that in that sense, if you're trying, you know, if if the WWE has some horrible people that are trying to hide like themselves, like then that's one thing. Like Vince is like, oh, we can't have them saying, you know, stuff on things. So I don't know, man. But I've got no, we got no control over all we can do. That's, that's it. it. <laughs> I'll talk to you in the next one tomorrow.